Once again, it's the Sorcerer coming back with another video. I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. And I'm here to tell you to take back your power. You got to take your power back. A lot of y'all been getting beat down by life, by stress, by bills. You know, you you so worried about what's going to happen. You just lost all your power. You chasing that woman. She got you going crazy. You did. <laughs> she, took, she took all your power. You came in strong, but now you're weak. She done zapped you clean. Same thing goes for the woman. You letting that man treat you any kind of way. You came in a relationship strong. And now you're weak. You done took all of your power. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you to take back your power. You can take it back. By just turning it all around. By putting it in your mind and in yourself. To say I'm going to change. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to embrace my power. You know. Worries and stress can't help you. You're worrying about this or that. You're saying bullshit in your mind before it even happened. You know when bullshit comes to your mind. Switch it. Switch it to positive things. You know you don't got to dwell on that bullshit. You got the power to change your thoughts. Change your thoughts to positive thoughts when bullshit comes. You know, you, you can even talk to that energy. You know, energy that talk to you and tell you bullshit gonna happen. You got the power to tell that energy, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck away from me. You dig what I'm saying? I got the power. I am. I am the master. You understand? You got that power. Understand who you are. Uh, stop comparing yourself to others. You know, especially people that got more shit than you. You be comparing yourself to them like, damn, I wish I had that nice house. Damn, I wish I had that, that nice car. I wish I had a girl like his. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight up. Or whatever it might be. Or you, you wish you was that person, period. Stop, you got to stop that. You understand? You got to stop that and be yourself. Start getting into yourself. Get deep into yourself. Reach inside yourself. Find out what's best for you. Find out what works for you. And you can have some nice things too. You got to get on your job. You understand what I'm saying? Stop looking at others and start looking at yourself. You feel me? A lot of people don't want to look at themselves though. They see too much bullshit. Too many skeletons in the closet. <laughs> too much bullshit covered up. Things that didn't happen in their childhood. You know, they still got that shit covered up. You know, you got to reach inside yourself and rip that shit off. You know, use your mind power. See that energy running off of you and back into the earth. You know, do that every night. Use your imagination. Imagination is powerful. A lot of people don't like that word, uh, like that word imagination because they feel like, well, imagination is not real. But imagination can create reality. You know why? Because imagination opens the door to the mind. That leads to the magical world. That leads to the spiritual world. Understand your power. Use your imagination. Your imagination is a great magical tool. Your imagination can create. That's why everything has everything that is created comes from the mind. It was created in the mind first. It starts with the imagination. You feel me? Understand your power. Uh, and like I said, stop comparing yourself to others and do you. And prepare yourself and you will have things. You know, some people ask me, does spells work? They ask me, uh, does this spell work? Um, you know, I want to be sure before I try. I don't want to wait. I don't. I don't want to be wasting my time. I just want to know before I even do it. Well, you know, it all depends on the individual. You see, the spells spells can only work if the worker can work it. It's all up to you. Of course, it takes practice and experience to increase your spell power. Yeah, but if you're a beginner, you got to believe first. You know what I'm saying? You got to believe to know. If you don't believe, you already lost. Your spell will not work if you don't believe it's going to work. You understand? So believe first and then practice. You know, to cast a powerful spell, you must know. You must know that you can cast a powerful spell. You must know it's going to work. You must know like you know you can talk. You understand? You must know it's going to work. You must know it's going to work before you even see results. 
you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your magic without one doubt. And then you will see great results. Embrace yourself. Embrace your inner power. Embrace your soul. Embrace your soul power. And control your mind. Control your thoughts. Control your feelings. You know, embrace your mind. Love your mind. Love your mind power. You know, if you don't believe in yourself, then don't even attempt it. Because <laughs> nine times out of ten, you're going to fail. You have to believe in yourself before you even start. You feel me? You can't work spells if you don't believe that your mind got the power to do so. You can't curse nobody if you don't really believe that your mind has the power to do so. You can't even talk to spirits if you don't believe that you have the power to do so. You can't talk to spirits if you really don't believe that they exist. You're fooling yourself. You understand? So belief does play a big part. Belief is not everything, but it plays a major part. Because it opens up the doors in the mind. You understand? And belief leads to knowing. Regardless, you might find out it's fake. You know, if you really put your heart into something... You're going to be so into it that eventually you'll find out if it's real or fake. You know, that's fucked up to, to really put your heart into something and find out it's fake. But, you know, it's good that you know that it's not meant for you. And everything that works for some, that works for some, don't mean it's going to work for others. You understand? A lot of things can work for you, but not for others. So you got to understand yourself first. Reach inside of yourself. You are unique. You got to understand your power. You know? Uh, I believed in a lot of shit. You know, I believed in a lot of shit that didn't work. I had to find out what was meant for me. You know, it worked a little bit, but it didn't work like I wanted it to work. You know, I had to find out what was my power. And how I, how, how I did this, I did this by reaching inside of myself, looking at myself first. I had to erase everything and then start with self, my inner self. My soul, my spirit, my mind. You did. When you do this, your spirit will lead you, will take you and guide you to where you need to go. And find out what works best for you. You will find out what works best for you when you put yourself first. Your inner self, your soul. You understand? You know, you have to put your mind first. You have to put your spirit first. You have to put your inner self first. Your energy, the force that lives inside of you. You have to put these things first. Then you will see real power. You know, once you do this, you will be able to, to to do any spell. You did once you put yourself first. You'll be able to to call on any spirit once you really believe in yourself power first. You see, it's not about the spell, it's about you. The spell is only a tool. It's all your power. You understand? The one, the staff. These things are just tools. It's all your power. It comes from you. These things will work if you empower them. Because it's your power. You feel me? Understand your power. Believe in yourself. You did? Believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it before you even do it. <laughs> Get deep with it. Understand you. Know who you are. You are truly divine. Truly. You know, some people... You know, they know that they practice our religion don't work for them. But they're just too afraid to leave it. They're too afraid to try something new. Because they've been spooked. Or they've been hypnotized to the point that they're afraid to leave it. If something is not working for you, it's okay to leave it. Pick up something else. Look inside yourself. Yourself will direct you to where you need to go. You understand? The only sin should be not believing in yourself. Know your power. And I'm going to end this shit by saying. Black magic. Black magic. Black magic. Almighty self. We are.